After covering the ultrasonic sensor, next we are going to start with this micro servo which is used to control the position of the ESP32 camera module. It ranges from 0 to 180 degrees. A servo is one of the most popular and most commonly used components. It is used in applications where precise movement and control are required. As you can see on the Galaxy RVR rover, we use it to control the position of this camera. You can also use it in RC vehicles and RC planes for controlling the ailerons and rudder. You can also use it in automated manufacturing systems and so on. And let me also tell you this servo is connected to the Arduino Uno Pin 6. Now let's start with a very basic program. We are going to control the position of this camera. First we add the servo library which contains the code to control a servo. Next, we create a servo object with the name My Servo. You can define multiple servo objects if you need to control multiple servo motors. In the setup function, we tell the controller that servo is connected to pin 6 on the Arduino. In the loop function, we set the camera position at 45 degrees using MyServo.Write function. Let's upload the program. Isn't it so boring changing the angle and uploading the program again and again? Let's do it through a for loop. I slightly modified this program. You can see this time I added this for loop to automatically increment the angle from 0 to 130. You might be wondering why not 180 because I have practically tested it. The camera can only go to 130 degrees. Otherwise, the camera may get damaged by the body. Let's go ahead and upload this program. Let's increase its speed. Now, let's control its position using ultrasonic sensor. By default, I want the camera at zero degree and when the ultrasonic sensor detects an object, I want the camera to change its position towards the front. Let's do it. This code is the combination of the servo first example and the ultrasonic based avoiding system. I only added these two conditions. If the distance is less than or equal to 50, then move the servo to 100 degrees and if the distance is greater than 50, or if there is nothing in front of the ultrasonic sensor, then move the camera to its default position. Rest of the program is exactly the same. Let's upload the program. You can see it's working perfectly, but when I touch the robot body, it starts to act in an abnormal way. It may be due to when I touch the robot body might introduce electrical noise or static electricity, which interferes with the ultrasonic sensor and servo control signals. Or it may be due to the grounding issues. The same thing I also noticed with the IR sensors. To avoid such issues, just keep your hands off the robot. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.